Which among these two is a rational algebraic expression? Find out in this video. Good day learners! Today we're going to talk about rational algebraic expressions. So, rational algebraic expressions is a quotient of two polynomials provided that the denominator is not equal to zero. So, ngayon, yung mga given na mga examples natin, titignan natin kung saan sa kanila yung rational algebraic expressions. Based sa definition, dapat ang numerator at denominator ay polynomials. So, we have here some restrictions or kailan lang ba natin masasabi na ang algebraic expression ay polynomial or hindi. Ang given algebraic expressions ay hindi polynomial pag una, ang variables niya ay may exponent na negative. Pangalawa, ang variables niya ay may fraction na exponent. At pangatlo, ang variables niya ay may decimal na exponent. Hindi rin matatawag na polynomial ang isang algebraic expression pag ang variable niya ay nasa loob ng radical sign. So para mas maintindihan natin, I have here some examples. So these are algebraic expressions. So titignan natin saan dito yung rational algebraic expression. So yung instruction, tell whether the following are rational algebraic expression or not. So yung based sa definition natin, dapat... Uh, yung numerator at denominator ay polynomials. At the same time, yung denominator must not be equal to 0. Titignan natin yung number 1. We have 4x raised to negative 3 plus 2x plus 6 all over 5x plus 6. So, is this a rational algebraic expression or not? Okay, so this is not a rational algebraic expression. Bakit? Yung denominator niya is polynomial. However, yung sa numerator niya is not a polynomial. Okay, bakit hindi polynomial yung numerator? Kasi nga, ang isang variable niya ay may negative na exponent. Okay? So, automatic pag ang isang variable, negative ang exponent niya, automatic hindi siya polynomial. And since hindi polynomial yung numerator, then this expression is not a rational algebraic expression. So, lalagyan ko lang ng x. How about number 2? We have x plus 8 all over x minus 2. Okay. So, titignan natin kung polynomial ba ang numerator. Yes, polynomial ang numerator. How about ang denominator? The, the denominator is also polynomial. So, since polynomial yung numerator and denominator, then this is a rational algebraic expression. So, pag sinabi natin algebraic expression, these are composed of constants and uh, variables na sineseparate ng mga uh, operation like addition, subtraction, and etc. So, how about number 3? We have here 2x over 7y. Okay. So, ang numerator is a polynomial and ang denominator is also a polynomial. So, all in all, number 3 is a rational algebraic expression. Okay, number 4, we have negative 3x cubed plus 4x raised to 1 half all over 2x minus 6. Okay, is this a rational algebraic expression or not? Okay, so this is not a rational algebraic expression. Kasi nga, kung titignan natin yung sa numerator niya, may variable na kung saan ang exponent niya ay fraction. So, bawal na negative ang exponent at the same time bawal din na uh, fraction yung exponent ng variable. Okay. In this case, yung numerator is not a polynomial. All in all, this is not a rational algebraic expression. Okay. How about number 5? We have 7x squared minus 5 all over 6x minus 6x. Okay, titignan na, kung titignan natin ng maayos yung denominator, we can still simplify this one, right? So, if you have 6x minus 6x, that would be equal to 0. So, kung isi-simplify natin ito siya, magiging 7x squared minus 5 all over 0. And, same sa definition, or gaya ng sinabi natin sa definition kanina, dapat ang um, denominator must not be equal to 0. Kasi nga, kung magiging equal to 0, 
then this would be undefined. Right? So, number 5 is not a rational algebraic expression. How about number 6? We have 2 times uh, square root of 5x plus 4 all over 3x plus 7. Okay. So, ang denominator is polynomial. How about a numerator? A numerator is not a polynomial. Okay. Bakit? Kasi may isang variable na nasa loob ng radical sign. Ibig sabihin, itong x or ang 5x is a radical sa uh, radical sign natin na square root of 5x. Okay. Now, okay lang kung ang constant lang ang nasa loob ng radical sign. Pero, pag ang variable nasa loob ng radical sign, then automatic that is not a polynomial. Okay. So, number 6 is not a rational algebraic expression. How about the last one? We have x cubed plus 6x raised to 0 0.5 plus 9 all over x squared minus 2x plus 1. Okay. Obviously, this is not a rational algebraic expression. Bakit? Kasi, kung titignan natin sa numerator niya, ang isang variable niya ay may decimal na exponent, which is 0 0.5. Okay? So, again, this is not polynomial. So, since not polynomial yung numerator natin, then the whole expression is not a rational algebraic expression. The next thing that we're going to discuss is the domain of the rational algebraic expression. So, ano ba ibig sabihin ng domain? Domain is the set of all possible values of the variables. So, aalamin lang natin kung ano yung mga posibleng pwede nating ma-substitute or maging solution set sa mga variables natin. So, tatandaan lang natin na dapat ang denominator must not be equal to zero. So, so pag determine ng domain ng rational algebraic expression, we need to pay attention to what values of the variables that will make the denominator equal to zero. So, yung mga value that will make the denominator equal to zero, we call them as excluded values. Okay, so I have here examples. So, we are going to determine the excluded values and the domain of the following expressions. So, pag sinabi natin domain, yun yung mga values or possible values na pwede natin i-substitute sa variables natin. Okay? Yung tatanda lang natin, dapat yung maging denominator niya or yung denominator niya should not be equal to zero. Okay? So, titignan natin kung ano kaya yung mga number or mga values na pag isa-substitute natin sa number 1 or sa variable x, the denominator will not be equal to 0. Okay. So, we have here example number 1. We have x plus 5 all over x minus 3. Okay. So, titignan mo na natin kung ano yung mga exempted or mga excluded values na di natin pwede maging domain sa number 1. So, paano siya gagawin? Una, kukunin lang natin yung denominator. We are going to equate the denominator to 0. Okay? Then, we're going to solve for x. So, you have, ang denominator natin dito is x minus 3. So, you have x minus 3 is equal to 0. Then, solve for x. So, it's transpose lang natin sa negative 3 sa right side ng equation. We will have x is equal to positive 3. So, sa madaling salita, bawal na si 3 ang maging value ni x. Bakit? Kasi nga, pag 3 ang value ng x, tapos sinubstitute natin siya sa denominator, that would be 3 minus 3. And 3 minus 3 would be equal to 0. So, kung magiging 0 ang denominator natin, then yung expression natin would be undefined. Okay? So, ano yung magiging final answer natin? Ano yung domain ng uh, rational algebraic expression natin? na number 1. So, we have the domain is all real numbers except positive 3. Okay. So, pwede na, ibig sabihin nito, pwede na tayong mag-substitute ng any value sa x. 1, 2, negative numbers, positive numbers, fractions, decimal, pero bawal C3. Okay? Kasi nga, magiging undefined yung uh, rational algebraic expression natin. Okay. Moving on, let's have number 2. 
we have 5x plus 3 all over 3x plus 2. So again, this is a rational algebraic expression. Again, we're going to determine kung ano yung excluded values at ano yung domain sa rational algebraic expression natin for number 2. So same sa ginawa natin sa number 1, kukunin lang natin yung, or consider natin yung denominator. So we have 3x plus 2 is equal to 0. So we're going to equate it to 0. Then, we're going to solve for x. Okay. So, 3x, itratanspose natin si 2, kaya magiging negative 2. So, since my numerical coefficient pa na 3, so we're going to divide both sides by 3. Cancel. So, you have x is equal to negative 2 third. Ang ibig sabihin lang ito is yung x na nakuha natin, ito yung excluded value. Ibig sabihin, pwede lahat ng classing real numbers except for this number. Okay, so yung domain natin for number 2 would be uh, the domain is all real numbers or the domain for this particular expression is all real numbers except negative 2 third. So pwede siya in sentence form, pwede rin uh, Interval notation yung gagawin natin. So for me, sentence yung gagamitin ko. Okay, let's solve number 3. x plus 8 all over x squared minus x minus 6. Okay, so let's consider again the denominator. We have x squared minus x minus 6. Then we're going to equate it to 0. Now since quadratic yung denominator natin, we can use any types of factoring para makuha yung values ni x. Okay. So again, this is quadratic, uh, this is factoring quadratic trinomial, right? Okay, so you have x and x. So pag nakalimutan nyo yung factoring, you can review the uh, previous videos. Inexplain ko dun kung ano yung uh, different types of factoring. So we, are, we have here negative 6. So, we're going to think of two factors na pag i-multiply natin, magiging negative 6. At pag i-add naman natin, magiging negative 1. So, that would be negative 3 and positive 2. Okay? Kasi nga, negative 3 times positive 2 is negative 6. Negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. Okay? So, in this case, we have two excluded values. So, yung una... Si x minus 3, equate natin sa 0, that is, x is equal to positive 3. Okay, pinanspose na natin si negative 3. Yung pangalawa, pangalawa naman, we have x plus 2 is equal to 0. So, transpose again si positive 2, magiging negative. Therefore, yung excluded values natin would be 3 and negative 2. So, our conclusion would be the domain is all real numbers except so dalawa yung excluded values natin 3 and negative 2 okay let's have the last one we have 3x plus 11 all over x squared minus 9 so again, kung consider natin yung denominator niya which is x squared minus 9, then equate natin to 0. So this one, again, can be solved using factoring. So we're going to use factoring difference of 2 squares. So ano yung solution natin? We have x and x. What is the square root of 9? We have 3. So that is positive 3 and negative 3. Same sa number 3, equate natin each factor to 0. Then, solve for x. So, yung unang excluded value natin is negative 3. At yung pangalawa naman na excluded value would be equal to positive 3. So, yung negative, transpose lang kaya naging positive. So, the conclusion would be the domain is all real numbers except negative 3 and 
3. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Nino.